Josh in my pocket. I don't think so. Okay, here with Johns Hopkins after the Blue Jays advance the second round of the NCAA Division Three Women's Volleyball Championships with a 3 0 victory over LaSalle head coach Matt Troy, Troy and student athletes Chinamak Monoqua and Ham Chapo. Matt, if you just start with an opening comment about the game and then we'll have some questions for you. Yeah, I think our, our number one goal was to come in and just be determined and, and really go after them. And I thought the, the team did a great job of having that mentality early and then being able to stick through it throughout the entire match. So, so very proud of that consistency there. Playing a team making its first appearance in the NCAA is getting off to a quick start. When we are an experienced NCAA team, can really put them back on their heels. Obviously, the quick start, I think, was 7-0 mm -hmm. right off the bat. So that has to make you feel good. And, and obviously, everybody's now in the flow and excited. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we had a game plan coming in, at least on the serving side as well, and really wanted to go after a couple players. And, and Evelyn is one of our best servers. And so just being able to have her start off the, you know, the serving run and then being able to get in that little bit of that comfort zone, um, having fun and, and playing hard, I think really benefited the team overall in general. And our, our sideline, I mean, the energy that they just consistently bring and the, even the advice that they'll give in the huddle and, and things like that and being engaged, um, I just think it's uh, just a total team effort and it's just really fun to, to watch. Yeah, Coach, my first one's for you. Uh, NCAA tournament record in terms of hitting percentage, well over uh, uh, 500 there, 552. Um, in terms of execution and then that you know, record, what, what do you have to say about your team's you know, ability to lock in and be ready for the big dance? Yeah, no, I mean, they just, they're, they're constantly trying to improve. And I think just that desire to be. I mean, we, we always say like, we don't have to be perfect, but almost that desire to be perfect and then allowing ourselves that grace when we do make mistakes, I think opens up that, that opportunity for them and, and the trust that I think they have in each other. Um, you know, Helena can go to anybody, and, and I think that, you know, I guess breeds confidence into her and our serve receive. I mean, if they get the ball anywhere near the 10 foot line, I mean, we can spread that thing all over the place. And, and uh, it's, it's a really great feeling to, to be able to go to, you know, multiple players throughout a match. Jenny said you don't necessarily have to be perfect, but 9 of 11 is pretty good in the NCAA <laughs> single match. Hitting um, percentage record. Just talk about what you were seeing out there. You were involved early, and obviously when you get involved early, then you're, you're on board and, and going. Mm -hmm. Just talk about your match tonight. Yeah, sure. I think um, one thing we emphasis, emphasize on our team is just getting the middles going early. I think that um, once I got that, that first kill, that kind of instilled confidence in me. Um, and in Helena, as well as Coach was saying, to kind of keep going back to me and anyone else who was just had a hot hand. So she had a set of records tonight. Pam might have. She was seven of ten tonight. Did seventy percent. Just Pam, same thing. You know, getting involved early, spreading it around. Just how were you feeling out there tonight as well? Yeah, I think kind of the same thing. The passers were doing a great job getting us in system. Helena spreading the ball around and helping me get one-on-one -on -one opportunities and being able to just go back to me over and over again. Pam, you've been on this team obviously for four years. You're a senior. You've had experience in going to the NCAA tournament. What's it about this team that allows you guys to have success when it comes to the NCAA tournament? Um, I think it starts from day one. We really do try and trust each other and build each other up every day. It's not just one at a time from November. It's right in August when we start right away, and we try and just build up over and over again. So it's a little by little, but eventually we get there every time. Yeah, and then in terms of preparation, obviously now, guys, yeah, so I'll, I'll get on film right away tonight, start planning, probably be up till 2 in the morning, something to that effect. Um, then we're going to come in tomorrow. Uh, they'll get to do all their class stuff in the morning, and then we have a 1 o'clock practice, and we'll do a little bit of film after and just really get prepped for that, that evening. And, and then they'll do all the rest of the homework and, and study that before we get going, and, and we'll just go play. We'll do our thing. We're both of the athletes. Two years ago, you had the opportunity to be here and play at home, and then last year we were on the road and, and won the regional. What's it like playing in an NCAA tournament at home? Just the atmosphere of being here, being the comforts of being home, sleeping in your own bed, and, and all that goes with that. I mean, we love playing in Goldfarb, so another opportunity is something we're really grateful for. So playing in front of our home crowd and our home gym with each other for another opportunity is really awesome. I can add on to that. I think our crowd travels really well, to be honest, but just having gold farb and being in that environment, I think is adding a lot to our success. Great. Congratulations.